base. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And meanwhile, Allen so complete to Shakir. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. And every time you step on a field, coaches are always going to talk about how important tackling is in a ball game. In this one, especially so. You can't allow these guys to break free and get extra yards after contact, but that's exactly what happens here. That can't continue as this game goes on. They run for the first time with James Cook. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. On second down, here's Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. on second down. Now they need a big play here. Third and ten. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now. First and ten. Half 85. Half 85. Back to the ground. Cook. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Adafi Owe there on the tackle. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Hey, hold, hold, hold. And they'll send the slot in motion left. 56, 56. Play action. Now it's Allen. He's got the hookup with Diggs. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A good pick up there of 20 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Now Allen, escaping the pressure right. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. It hasn't been a real good start to this game from a defensive perspective, but now after the incompletion on second down, things may be changing. If they can come up with one more play, they might be able to get out of it with just a field goal attempt. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? To the air, Allen forced out to his left. Just a crazy throw there, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey, and the Ravens will take over here at their own 12-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. 
but we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. No, we changed it. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Now Jackson on second down, dancing to his left. And he's out right at the 25. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. I don't think that run was anything that was designed, but when his reads were blanketed as he went through his progressions, all that was left was for him to run and try and pick it up himself. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Another run here with Dobbins. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. They'll come up facing third and five. To throw is Jackson. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Well, starting drive number two off on the right foot. Completion for the first down. Drive one is the, they had to be pretty frustrated because they moved the football. They just didn't get any points out of it. But warm up QB2 is bringing the back up. I mean, how good is it? No score after one on EA Sports. So first and 10 now from the 30. In motion right, one of the tight ends. Hey, hold, hold, hold. Hey, Snap comes at one, and it's Allen eluding the pressure right. And that is caught, it's Davis. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. That one goes for 24 yards. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. And Cook will get in for a Bills touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Bills post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They threw.
the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Well, everybody was up there ready at the line of scrimmage, CD, but no snap, and the delay of game Still ensued. Yeah, and I'm sure their head coach is asking the exact same thing. What's going on out there? Almost like they thought they had more time than actually was on the clock. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. 41 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Hey, we haven't been around the entire time football's been played, but we have studied our history. There have been some great backs who've been accused of running out of bounds to protect themselves. Well, back in the day, many people didn't like that. But nowadays, take care of the football, show some intelligence, live to fight another down. They'll run with Dobbins. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. Dobbins will take this into the end zone. It's a Ravens touchdown. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chart. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. And now out come the Bills. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. 
So they fake the handoff. Now Allen steps away. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Now Cook running right. Oh, a heck of a move. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and it's picked up by the Ravens. And they have the football, and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. The previous play is under review. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes? After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Second and short now following the fumble. Allen off the play fake. A little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. coaches for them it's all about getting the football I went into one facility and as soon as you walked into the defensive room there was a football like on a spring and each guy that walks in that plays has to act like he's knocking the ball free they want those instincts created they want them to think about that all the time and that's what they try to preach After the fumble recovery, it's Jackson. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. This second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Jackson. He'll check this down to Dobbins out of the backfield. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Here is third and five. Now Lamar changing the play. Jackson now. Flush to his right. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This will be from 56 yards out. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. And anytime you see a kicker trot out to try one from 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. Now 
The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. From the gun, it's Allen. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. To throw, it's Allen. That is complete downfield to Knox. Big strides, look at him go. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox, 67 yards. And the Bills have taken the lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's Tiger NFL, Bell, those tight ends Bell. are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff right. to start the second half, so this right. is a golden right. opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Jackson trying to hustle his unit up quickly to the line of scrimmage. Now Jackson looking to throw on second down. Flushed out right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in. And he's just got to throw this one away. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Here's Jackson to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And Oliver tracks him down away in the backfield for a loss of 16. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw some strong work from James Cook in that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. Both teams going back through their game plans, making their final halftime adjustments. And for the call of the second half, we go back up to Baltimore and rejoin Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. A one-touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, we get back at it 
on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. But, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Hey, middle, middle, middle. Now it's Jackson. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to bring up third and two. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Right. They need two. Here's third down. Hey, middle, middle, middle. They'll try to run for the Dobbins. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. They're going for the Dobbins. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there, but they do convert on fourth. If he writes a book in the offseason, he ought to title it Undaunted because where he is on the field, back on his own side, and goes for it, and gets it, I got to give it to him on that one. Yeah, only thing you can justify it with is it was only a few inches that they needed. If it's fourth and two, probably doesn't do it. Hey, he got it. Give him credit. Yeah, but if they don't pick it up, then you're in trouble. Yeah, they're giving points to the other team at that stage. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. And now Jackson will look to throw it. And this is going to be pulled in by the tight end, Andrews. And all the way in for the Ravens. Touchdown. Mark Andrews, 58 yards. And the Ravens are an extra point away from evening this one up. So many times you think of these tight ends catching the ball already in the end zone. But today's tight end, they can run after the catch, too, to score. They are big, they're strong, but they're extremely athletic and they can surprise the heck out of you when they get the ball in their hands and they're running away from the defense. Tucker with the extra point, and we are tied at 14. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Back to the ground. This time, Cook. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Third and four.
And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Running for it, here's Cook. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Shakir hauls it in. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. First down, Allen. Completes to Shakir once again. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. Brings up second and four. Gonna throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. The Bills passing game getting them down the field. They've got another first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you gotta like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. A strong running. <laughs> and he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter play. Back now in Baltimore. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Now second and three. Shakir. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And it's second down. On play action. Allen. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long.
so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills have taken the lead here in the fourth. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. But Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sideline. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their own end zone, courtesy of the pick six. And Brandon, how often do we hear offenses tell us before a game they want to end every series with a kick, right? A punt, a PAT, or a field goal? In case of a defense, they want to end with a punt or a takeaway. And we saw the takeaway right there, and it turned out to be a takeaway that turned into six points. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So now an important conversion attempt here as the Bills line up to go for two. Oh, the motion comes too late, and this is going to be a delay. Delay of game, offense. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Big two-point conversion attempt still to come. And now again, the play clock's going to run out on him. Delay of game, offense. And that flag accepted. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. That's caught. And he will get into the end zone. So the lead stretches from 9 up to 11. Well, the penalty takes him all the way back to the 12. You don't see many two-point conversions that go in from the 12, do you? No, you really don't. But in a strange way, it actually opens up the field a little bit, maybe expands what you can call on offense, and they took advantage of it. Tyler Bass to kick off for Buffalo. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. 
And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And now here come the Ravens. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 18. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now is second and 10. Now Jackson. In trouble here and down he goes. Back at the eight yard line. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And that's not gonna get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. They get 13, but it's not nearly enough, and it'll be fourth down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many Real times. Quick. Well, the defense circling now, fourth down and seven. Oh, we changed it. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. That's to his running back, complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Now Jackson on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Here comes second down. Throwing is Jackson. That's complete. It's Zay Flowers with it. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. To throw is Jackson. No, he stays up. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Ready? Boy, a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Well, obviously, Charles, this stage of the game, down two scores, they had to put the football in the air. Unfortunately, it gets picked off. And the criticism comes easily in situations like this, but you just laid it out. Look where they are on the scoreboard. Look at where the clock is in the game. He has to take a chance here and try and get the ball downfield to his receivers. Unfortunately, it was picked off. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Right 
And they run the option on second down. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Throwing his Allen on third. Looking deep downfield. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. 56, 56. Here's Allen. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills drive stalls out on four down. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. Real quick. They'll come up first and 10 here. And let go. Now Jackson. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. And the Bills force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Well, there's a time and a place for everything. Down two scores late in the fourth. I get it. Now is the time to throw it downfield, but that one might just write an end to this ball game. Yeah, I hear all the time how critical I am of play calls. Not in this situation. No other choice, really. Look at the clock. Look at the scoreboard. Had to... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through, and they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Baltimore, good night, everybody.